let's take a look at expectancy theory. Expectancy theory contains three basic components, valence, instrumentality, and expectancy. Because of these three components, the theory is often referred to as VI theory. All three elements must be present for motivation to take place. To be motivated, people must value the reward think they can perform, and have reasonable assurance that their performance will lead to a reward. The worth or attractiveness of an outcome is referred to as valence. Each work situation has multiple outcomes. An outcome is anything that might stem from performance, such as a reward. Each outcome has a valence of its own. And each outcome can lead to other outcomes or consequences referred to as a second level outcomes. A person who receives an outstanding performance evaluation at level outcome becomes eligible for a promotion, a second level outcome. Second level outcomes also have valences. The sum of all the valences must be positive if the person is to work hard. If the sum of all valences is negative, the person might work hard to avoid the outcome. An individual's assessment of the probability that performance will lead to certain outcomes is referred to as instrumentality. When people engage in a particular behavior, they do so with the intention of achieving a desired outcome or reward. Instrumentalities range from 0 to 1.0 where 1.0 is a belief that the reward is certain to follow. An individual's assessment of the probability that effort will lead to correct performance of the task is referred to as expectancy. Expectancy range from 0 to 1.0, where 0 is no expectation of performing the task correctly, and 1.0 signifies absolute faith in being able to perform the task properly. Expectancies thus influence whether a person will even strive to earn a reward. Being well trained increases a person's subjective sense that he or she can perform the task. The importance of having high expectancies for motivation meshes well with the contribution of self-efficacy, the confidence in your ability to carry out a specific task. If you have high self-efficacy about your, the task, your motivation will be high. Low self-efficacy leads to low motivation. An apparent contradiction in the expectancy theory requires some explanation. Some people will engage in behaviors with low expectancies, such as trying to invent a successful new product or become the CEO of a major corporation. The compensating factor is the large valences attached to the second level outcomes associated with these accomplishments.